yeah hi guys welcome to an academy and welcome to the free live classes so i hope my audio my audio and video both is to work clear <coughs> fine so in this video we are going to see the topic that is a digital uh, logic family so which is a very most important uh, topic as per our ugc net exam electronic science so it is a compulsory topic that we are going to get definitely at least one question we are going to get from this uh, digital electronic I mean digital logic family okay so before going into the main content of this topic here the announcement is that the complete course for the ugc net electronic science as well as the paper one both these two are already started in the november itself so the interested candidates may take the subscription plan so here the free i mean here the live classes are provided right based upon the different subscription plans and for each and every three sessions one doubt clearing session will be there okay you can clear your doubts so which will be very much helpful for your uh, uh, jrf guys and here the different subscription plans are uh, mentioned on the screens okay that is one month three months six months 12 months and 24 months so you may take any one of the subscription plan here and uh, my sub my an academy profile link as well as a subscription link both these two are provided in the description box of this video so you may check down the special class also so if you are planning to take the subscription plan then use my referral code that is aswinik then you will get 10% discount on any one of the subscription plan okay so here the prices are going to increase so before increasing the prices okay take the subscription plan guys okay fine and now while coming to the present content of the video here we are going to see the uh, logic family so basically we are having the few different types of logic families are there so these are the different uh, logic families one is a bipolar logic family second one is a unipolar logic family bipolar logic family are designed with the bjt's and unipolar logic families are designed with the mosfets okay so i mean generally mosfets are having the uni junction and while coming to the bipolars are having the bi junction nothing but a two junctions will be there to this one okay and so in the bipolar logic family we are having the two types one is a saturated and second one is a non saturated so non saturated means here the transistor operates between the cut off region and the active region that's it they won't goes to the saturation region that's why here the switching timings are very fast comparing with the saturated logic family and out of this one here the short key ttl and the ecl uh, both these two comes under the non saturated and while coming to the saturated rtl uh, direct uh, coupled transistor logic i square l dtl htl and ttl okay these are the different uh, saturated logic families and out of this one we are going to see the rtl dtl ttl and the uh, short key as well as the ecl and while coming to the unipolar we are having the pmos nmos as well as a cmos okay so these are the different logic families fine right? and yeah so coming to the fan in and the fan on capacity so first we will see the logic families and then we will come to these parameters so coming to the diode logic the basic gate of the diode logic is the and gate and it is the circuit of the and gate so how we are going to implement the Uh, end gate operation is that if you are giving the zero and zero here, I mean we will get like this. It is uh, connected to ground and here it is connected to ground. It is a VB supply and it is a VA supply. Okay, so I mean here the positive plus five is coming to the P type and zero means uh, less voltage is going to the N type. Then obviously both these two diodes comes into the conduction state. Then the current will flow like this. Okay, current will flow like this. if the current is flowing like this for the zero zero then 
here you are not going to get anything at the output side then you will get output as a zero if you are taking the zero one then what will happen is that zero and one that means it will be in the forward bias and it is in the reverse bias for the zero one condition then in the forward bias diode the current will flows like this then again you will get output as a zero so for the one zero also you will get zero whenever the input one one is giving then what happens is that both the two diodes comes into the reverse bias condition why because one here and one here okay whenever the two diodes are coming into the reverse bias condition then the v out is connected to the plus five then automatically the v out will be the high voltage if you observe this one it is the true table of the end gate okay next coming to the rtl resistor to transistor logic here the circuit will be like this and here we can tell that it is the NAND gate. Okay. So coming to the NAND gate, here the two transistors and resistor is there. So if I am giving the 0 and 0 here, both the two transistors will be in the off state. Now VCC is connected to V out. That means for 0, 0 I will get 1. And if I am taking the 0, 1. 0 1 then it is it remains in the off state and it comes into the on state still there is no connection between the vcc and the ground okay why because it is off means it just open circuits now also the v out is connected to the vcc and i will get as a one here and if i am giving the one zero okay one zero then this transistor comes into on state and it maintains in the off state now still the vcc is not connected to the ground then also the output becomes is equal to VCC and if I am giving the 1 1 then both the two transistors comes into the on state and the VCC short circuits to ground then I will get V out as a nearly logic 0. So it is a true table of the NAND gate. Next coming to the DTL logic so the DTL logic is nothing but uh, NAND gate it is so one AND gate and it is the inverter. And get what we discussed in the previous case and coming to the inverter here if we are giving the zero the transistor will be in the off state and i will get output as a one if i am giving the one here the transistor comes into on state and the vcc short circuits to the ground and i will get output as a zero next coming to the ttl so the ttl if uh, it, it is a multiple emitter uh, transistors is there here if I am giving the 0, 0, you can take that it is a P, N and N. It is a NPN transistor, okay, you can take like this. If I am giving the 0, 0 means N is getting the 0 and P is getting the almost VCC. So that's why both these two comes into the forward bias and my whatever the current coming from the VCC that will be divided like this, fine. And through this one there is no current and obviously this transistor will be in the off state and if it is in the off state means open circuits then this complete voltage goes to here and it comes into the on state and it goes into the off state and whenever it is in the on state means then I will get V out as a 1 okay that means for 0 0 I am getting output as a 1 and if you are taking the 0 1 case or 1 0 case out of both these two any one of the PN diode in the transistor will be activated and you are going to get as a 1 1. But if you are getting 1 1 then both these two transistors will be in the off state and now the complete current will flows like this. Okay, Complete current will flows like this. Now based upon this one what will happen is that that means the current comes like this. It comes into the on state. Whenever it comes into the on state then obviously it comes into the on state and it goes into the off state. Now the V out is connected to the ground in this in the 1 1 case I will get V out as a 0. So if you observe this one, you are going to get as a NAND. That means the basic circuit of the TTL is a NAND. And whatever the connection is there, the transistor, diode and the transistor, this connection represents the totem pole connection. Okay, totem pole connection. That means out of both these two transistors, any one of the transistor might be connected okay, in the on state. So sometimes what will happen is that sometimes both the two transistors will be in the off state then we will call the TTL as a open collector mode. Okay, open collector mode, fine. So these are the different states of the transistor to transistor logic. 
and while coming to the ttl if you are uh, connecting the short key diode if you are connecting the short key diodes to the ttl yeah hi dharmendra good evening so short key diodes means generally if you are taking the transistor like this okay then we are going to connect the short key diode in between the collector to base okay so due to the short key diode what will happen is that uh, the transistor will not enter into the saturation region that means the transistor will be between the cutoff and the active region so that's why it is called as a short key ttls or called as a non saturated uh, uh, what we call uh, logic families and the switching speeds are very very high in the case of short key ttls okay and uh, while coming to the ecl emitter in emitter coupled logic so we can take the circuit like this okay and coming to the ttl one more topic that what i want to tell is that if it is a one ttl and uh, it is another ttl if both the outputs of the ttl are combined together like this then you are going to get here as a and gate fine it is nothing but a wired and gate fine if both the two outputs of ttl are combined together then you will get as a and gate that means if your one is coming and if your zero is coming you will get output as a zero whenever the two outputs of the ttl are one then only you are going to get output as a one okay it is also important uh, point guys and coming to the ecl so ecl is the very fastest logic family comparing with all the other logic families and ecl is the highest power consumption uh, device while comparing with the all the other uh, logic families okay and uh, coming to the circuit of this one so ecl circuit it just looks like the differential amplifier which is the first stage of the operational amplifier and uh, in this case if i am giving the zero and zero here then both the two transistors will be in the off state if the two transistors are in off state then huge amount of current will start flowing through this direction instead of this direction so if the huge amount of current is flowing in this direction means then automatically at this point the output is nearly vcc and at this point my output will be nearly low okay that means high here and low here okay so we can take like this as the thing is mentioned here right and whenever the zero one is given then what will happen is that so zero means it is in the off state and one means it comes into the on state so whenever it is coming into the on state then automatically uh, the current start uh, flowing in this direction okay instead of this direction but because if this transistor comes into the on state and it is in the off state okay then the least resistance will be there and the current flows through the least resistance now the case will be reversed this time i will get the high and this time i will get the low so similarly in uh, all the three next three cases any one of this transistor will be in the conduction state so that's why always the current chooses to flow only in this direction and obviously the v out one is equal to low and the v out two is equal to high okay so that means if you observe the v out one okay that is nothing but v out one represents the nor nor gate and v out two represents the or gate okay that means uh, from the ecl configuration you can able to get the two logics at a time one is the nor second one is the or fine next it is a very important uh, table guys as per our ugc in a electronic science very 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 important table so definitely you are going to get one question from any one of these parameters fine so what are the basic gates and what is the power dissipation noise immunity propagation delay and the clock rates so generally in the exam they will ask you that arrange them in the ascending order of the speeds arrange them in the descending order of the propagation delays or the power consumptions okay definitely they may ask okay, regarding that one fine so this table is very very important okay guys so please refer all this uh, i mean just i told in a brief way but because it is a 15 minutes a session okay that's why i told in a brief way uh, regarding the each and every topics and their functionalities here and you just prepare from this table 
whatever the points I mentioned here, okay, basic gates, uh, power dissipations, noise immunity, propagation delays, and the clock rates. Okay, go through the number of functions as well as the fan out also. Okay, fine guys. So tomorrow we will meet with the uh, one more topic of the paper one. Okay guys. So it is regarding the logic families. Okay guys, thank you very much and we will meet in the tomorrow session. Bye guys.